I scored 98 mid four last year, and that's why I'm the best person to guide you about this. I'm not going to waste your time. Max, read every line of NCERT. Unconventional tip, but it will help you get your concept better. Make a formula book and write every formula in it. Keep revising it from time to time. First, complete each question of NCERT, including solve examples and option exercise. Then do NCERT exemplar of each chapter, and if you can't do it fully, then at least do MCQ from it because they come directly in the exam. Then I've uploaded the important questions of all math chapters, so solve it as well. Mark and write every tough question or the question which you weren't able to do in the first attempt. in this different notebook of tough questions and keep attempting them until it's clear science read every line of the ncert and underline important lines and revise it from time to time memorize the observations of every activity so that you won't be stuck if it comes in the exam for example what turns lime water milky co2 does the pdf of important activities and important diagrams is in the description if it is not then i'll be uploading it in one or two days for physics practice the numericals the ncert and ncert exemplar along with memorizing all formulas and for chemistry divide the reactions into mechanisms and what are the reactants and products for example ag plus cl becomes agcl then remember the neutralization reaction and the valency so that you can form the reaction in the exam hall itself after completing ncert attempt the questions of ncert and refer to my notes so that you can cover the things that you skipped i got 100 in science so trust me these notes are good Once then, both for further practice, do NCERT exemplar and PYQs of each chapter, and I'll be uploading PYQs soon. So subscribe for that. SST, read NCERT of each chapter multiple times and mark and memorize whatever you think is important. Once done, refer to my notes and memorize anything you have left. Forestry, memorize every chapter as a collection of major events and points. For example, non-cooperation movement happened in 1921, and this did this happen in this movement. So be sure to remember the timeline for history. And for geography, paste the maps on your wall so that over time you memorize them while looking again and again. English, for every chapter and poem, read the NCERT and mark the important lines which you must write in your answer. The list of these lines have also been given in the description, so do read them and write an exam. Practice NCERT back questions of each chapter and practice literature questions from Google or any trusted website. For a practice of grammar and unseen passage, use the previous year papers and practice the grammar passage. And for other tips to score better in English, be sure to watch my how to score in English video. Hindi, for Hindi it's almost the same as English. However, read the NCERT and especially understand the poems from YouTube. As in Hindi, the checking of answers of poems are tougher than the chapters. For grammar and unseen passage, do the same as English. And for writing, definitely be fast with it as there are a lot of writing segments. And for tricks for the writing segments, you can watch some other videos on YouTube, or I'll upload my tricks in a further video. And I'll also provide my Hindi poem notes in a further video. So subscribe for that. But if you have completed more than fifty percent, then check out the other videos on my YouTube. This all will guarantee you a very good grasp of the topic. But the way to secure ninety five plus is writing great answers as well. So to write better answers, subscribe to this channel, and I'll share my tips and tricks soon.